Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Decimals, addition and subtraction. For adding and subtracting decimals, we have two rules to follow. Rule 1, line up the decimal point. Rule 2, add the zeros to the end of the decimal numbers when it is necessary. Let's look at some examples. 3.4 plus 0 0.89 plus 17.302. First, we follow the first rule, line up the decimal. So 3.4 plus 0 0.89, because rule 1 says line up the decimal, we need to put 0 0.89. 8, 9, so that the decimal lined up. 17.302. Then at the zeros, at the end of number 3.4, there are no digit. So we put 0 here, 0 here, because we have 17.302, we have 3 digits, so that's why we need to add 2 zeros for the first number. For the second number, we need to add 1 zero. The reason we need to line up the decimal is we should add the digit with same place value. For example, 3.4, the 3 is 1's digit, and the second number, the 1's digit is 0. For the third number, 17, so 7 is 1's digit. That's why we need to make even 3, 0, 7. And after the decimal on the right side, 4 is the tenth digit, THS, tenth digit. 0 0.898 eight also is the tenth digit. 7.3, 3 is tenth digit. So that's why we need to line up the decimal point so that the same place value will be added, okay? So 0, 0, 2, add together equals 2. 0 plus 9 plus 0 is 9. And 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So we mark 1 here. So 3 plus 7 equals 10, and add 1 is 11. So mark 1 here. So this is 2. The answer is... 21.592. The second example is subtraction 176 minus 28.65. 176 subtract 28.65 because the 6 in 176 is 1's digit, and 8 is the 1's digit. So we need right, 28 here, right? So that the 1's digit, they line up. So decimal, actually 176, the whole number, the decimal is on the right side of the 1's digit. Point 65 subtract. So we still need to add a zero after 176.00. When subtract zero minus five, we need to borrow one from this number. This did it. This is also zero. So we need borrow from six. This become five. So this is a 10 minus 
5 equals 5. So this one, after borrow 1 to this digit, this becomes 9, right? So 9 minus 6 equals 3. This is a decimal here. But the 5 is more than 8, so we need to borrow 1 from 7. 6 becomes 7. So this is 15 minus 8, which is 7. So 6 minus 2 equals 4 is 1. So the answer is 147.35. So next, I want you to practice two questions. Just to follow the rule, line up the decimal. Four is one digit, seven is one digit, five is one digit, seven is one digit. Line up, okay? This one, three is one digit. The one digit in this number is zero. The tenth digit is five. The tenth digit is nine here. So after practicing, you can see our solution. 34, line up the decimal place, the decimal point, 34.208, 187.7, the one digit, so 187.2. Then we need to add the zeros, right? 5.5 5 is one digit. Line up decimal, 0, 1, and 0. The last number is 67. This one. So add three zeros. So we can see, line up the decimal point, so all the digits with the same place value, they line up, line up, line up. So 8, 1, 4, and this one, this one, 4 plus 7, 11, 11 plus 5, 16, 16 plus 7, 23. So we need to mark two here. And we when we add these four numbers, we can see two plus eight equal ten. Then ten plus three thirteen. Then plus six nineteen. And we mark one here. So one plus one equal two. The answer is two ninety three. Yeah, I just write two ninety three point four one eight. The first solutions. The second solution. Is subtraction. 23.50. Subtract 0 0.948. Add a 0. When you subtract, 0 smaller than 8, borrow 1, 4. So this 10 minus 8 equals 2. This will become 9. So 9 minus 4 equals 5. Then 4 minus 9, smaller, borrow from 3, become 2, this is 14. Minus 9 equals 5 decimal and 2 minus 0 equals 2. This is 2. The answer is 22.552. Okay, this is represented by wise guys. Thank you.